Paul. <laughs> Behold, I come quickly. <laughs> and remember, my reward is with me. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to give every man according uh, as his work shall be. Yeah. I am the Alpha and the Omega, <laughs> the beginning and the end, <laughs> the first and the last. <laughs> Blessed are they that do his commandments, <laughs> that they may have right, yes, <laughs> to the tree of, ouch, the tree of <laughs> life, and may enter through the gates into the city. <laughs> For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Now, I know today you've been living the lie. You're a dog. <laughs> you know, I think it's really important that when I get to that city, yes, and I enter in through those gates, yes, I want Jesus to say, your work has been good. Now today, it might be that you know of forgeries and fraud and covering up crimes and conspiracy. And you thought, for sure, I'm going to heaven. God would never judge me. But my thought is you will be judged on earth and then in heaven. Ooh. Now, let's say you went to prison for a long period of time because of your refusal to enforce the laws. And you get to heaven and you stand before Jesus, maybe even kneel. And Jesus said, do you remember all that time you spent in prison? <laughs> See, the reward that you receive when you get to heaven has a lot to do with what you did do while alive. And I don't know how much reward you can really get in heaven after going to prison. <laughs> now, I know there are probably a lot of individuals that were convicted of crimes, of conspiracy, fraud, and forgery, child abduction, kidnapping, and molestation of children. <laughs> That when they finally get before the throne of God and <laughs> Jesus says, look at the decades that you spent in prison for refusing to enforce the laws of the United States. And <laughs> Jesus would say, well, you shouldn't have lived a lie then, should you? <laughs> Your reward is not great in heaven. In fact, <laughs> you might not get in. <laughs> now, for every one of you that thought that we all go to heaven, <laughs> that all roads lead to heaven, <laughs> that every way goes to heaven, <laughs> my thought is now, <laughs> those that enforce the laws, <laughs> they get to go to heaven because of the enforcement of the laws. <laughs> now, if you thought you'd spend them and <laughs> you decided to go to hell, <laughs> Well, come to find out, you'll probably get what you want, though there is a special place for those that... <laughs> Well, see, in hell, I happen to know a lot about demonology and Satan and those that are in chains in hell. <laughs> Let's say that the devil had a special place for you. And it sounds kind of weird. You say, well, everybody's tormented in hell. There can't be any worse tormentation of those that are judges <laughs> that get, well, Let's think about it. <laughs> You're an oath of office in the United States of America, and you have knowledge of crime. <laughs> you had sworn you would support and defend the Constitution, and <laughs> after spending time in prison, <laughs> you eventually die. <laughs> you appear before Jesus, and Jesus says, so sorry, <laughs> you can't get in. <laughs> you go down to hell, and you find out there are multiple locations in hell reserved for those that don't do it. <laughs> 